Hello, everyone. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, this is going to be a general energy reading for Friday, February 15th through Sunday, February 17th. Yes, this is a general energy reading. This is your weekend edition. So, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies are fluid. This is just what spirit wants to discuss with us right now. It doesn't have to mean it's going to be something that you are going to experience this weekend. It could be something that comes on down, down the line or it's something from the past that you may still be working through or it may not resonate with you at all. Okay, but again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Yeah, um, keep in mind, guys, that I am running. I forgot to put my crystals on the table. I am running a uh, a special this month for mirror readings. All mirror readings are twenty percent off. Um, just go ahead and email me, and I'll get you the details for that one. Um, oh, special shout out goes out to my friend Chloe. Um, so the so okay. So the reason why morning coffee didn't go up on Friday was because I was um, at a fantastic show. Uh, well, not show. Well, uh, well, okay, an event for Valentine's Day, and I just want to give another shout out to my good friend Chloe and Collective for having me. I had a really great time. Um, if you're in the New York City area, go go check that place out. Um, it's at Collective. The, the, the address and all that is on my Instagram page. Check it out. I did post about it. Um, but they're like this fantastic spa and um, like a cafe and a little mini shop. I mean, guys, it was so cool. But I just wanted to give another quick shout out for that because I had a great time and it was awesome. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's just get started, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the weekend of Friday, February 15th through Sunday, February 17th. Guys, we're almost out of February. Sorry, hold on, I gotta focus. <laughs> Thank you so much, Spirit. Guys, we're almost out of February already. Like, there's literally 12... It's the, it's, the, it's the 16th as of when I'm recording this. There are 12 days left in February. Like, whoa. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we've got for the weekend. Weekend edition. Weekend edition. Yes, yes. February 15th through the 17th. One more shuffle. One more shuffle ski. Shuffle ski. Oh, here's another thing. I'm looking to switch up the deck that I use for morning coffee. I just, I like to change my decks out every once in a while. Um, and so if you guys have any suggestions on what decks you, uh, you'd like to see for morning coffee, go ahead and leave it in the comments section down below and I'll, I'll check them out and see which one calls out to me. Yeah. All right. February 15th through the 17th spirit. 15th through the 17th. Four of Wands. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. That's enough. Okay, well, I like this so far. You have the Four of Wands with the Five of Wands in reverse. The Four of Wands is upright. Overall energy, oof. I know that's right. The Ace of Cups. That's beautiful. Especially, especially in light of this Four of Wands energy with the Five of Cups. Not the Five of Cups, excuse me. The Five of Wands in reverse. 
All right, so already what we're talking about here is basically no fucks given. <laughs> um, so I'll get to these three cards in a second. I just want to talk about these two right here first. The Four of Wands upright with the Five of Wands in reverse. To me, this is talking about a lot of the, the first thing that it's saying is that a lot of the inner conflict that you might have been feeling lately that you might have been dealing with, that's like null and void. Like you, for some of you are really like very much in tune with yourselves. You have your foundation on lock. You're good within yourself. You, you have a better idea of who you are. Damn near say, I say, or damn near completely know who you are like you're very much in tune with, your th with yourself very much in touch with yourself um for some of you you're on your way here but this is all because of the efforts you've been taking towards filling your own cup with this ace of cups here okay <clears throat> it's like uh, 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 it's like the the foundation that you have um renders outside opinions baseless, I guess you could say, renders them um, insignificant, or what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not significant, not relevant, irrelevant, there we go. Um, because it's like the other outside opinions can't, sh can't shock you, can't rock you, because you're so, you've come to such a solid space within yourself. Now, the thing that spirit is reminding me to remind you guys of the four of wands is a very fantastic energy it's a union it's an union it's an energy of union um it's an energy of good establishment right this is a time to you know celebrate or enjoy the fruits of your labors but it's not a time to rest on your laurels because there's still work to do okay we're there's still work to do and yeah, <laughs> but this is a good thing. Now, for others of you, this is about a union with someone else. Either their inner conflict has been settled, if say if they've been like on the fence about the relationship, or um, they're not willing to entertain outside opinion any longer um because potentially because this person really does see the value within you does see the value within the relationship that you two have with each other and is willing to offer that love regardless of what people might say about it or what re and this for some of you this could be some people that are very close to them or to you it's more than just like the general public or your 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 friends or whatnot this is like close friends best friends family stuff like that for some of you not for all for some of you i was picking up on that okay let's see what else we have here the nine of pentacles the knight of swords and the ace of swords Woo chow look y'all are very very clear. I think I'm just going to go ahead and title this video No Fucks Given because y'all are very, very clear on who you are or what it is you want or what it is you have to say. Some of you have something serious to say and you're not afraid to speak it when the time is right. The, the energy that I'm getting with this Knight of Swords is a little unusual for the Knight of Swords. I feel a lot of restraint here. I feel... Like, this is more of a defensive energy than an offensive energy. And it's not even defensive in the fact that it's looking for a way to pick a fight with someone to defend the self. No. Should someone come stepping up to you, you've got the knowledge, you've got the power, you've got the clarity to set them straight. Very much a Queen of Swords energy in the sense that, like, literally... No fucks given, no shit taken. The moment you step with some mess is the moment you get sliced down to size. <laughs> I know that's right. With this nine of pentacles here, this is 
<clears throat> this is independence. This is surety. This is being sure of yourself, basically. This is knowing that, see, knowing that you got it like that, seeing like you got it like that, believing that you got it like that. Because honestly, you've done the work to have it like that. Four of Wands, okay? Excuse me. I'm still dealing with a little bit of residuals from my third eye adventure from the week. <laughs> And yes, I do call it an adventure because man, was it intense. Yeah, no fucks given. This is good. This is really, really good. Independence, freedom, clarity, do, uh, indep knowing uh, it's like this lesson of um, unconditional love and knowing that you have ultimate control over your reality, you know, obviously to the extent that no, I'm not even going to say that because we are the universe. Everything, we are everything and everything is us. Okay. So full autonomy here. This is, uh, this. Uh, for some of you, you may have been really practicing the, your, your um, uh, claim, practicing claiming your sovereignty and all that. That's kind of the energy that I'm feeling here. <laughs> this is really great, you guys. This is really great. Okay, cool. So with, with that, we're going to get into some clarification here. We're going to start with the Four of Wands and the Five of Wands. Five of Wands being in reverse. And then we'll get to the Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. One more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got. I hope everyone had a fantastic Friday. It is the 16th Saturday as of the time I'm recording this. And I hope everyone has a really great weekend moving forward. Um, first of all, I want to say, I want to just point out here that the chariot is underneath the deck right now. Uh, my attention was drawn to it. Um, <laughs> spirit just... <laughs> no fucks given. I mean... You're, there are some of you out there that are really <laughs> are really moving forward without a care in the world. And it's not like you are um, being reckless or anything. It's like you, you finally get it. You finally understand what so many of us have been preaching about loving yourself, filling your own cup, um, you know, getting in alignment with yourself, doing what's right, what it is is right for you. Um, having the faith in the universe in the abundant in the abundance of the universe in the fact that you are the abundance of the universe you are the universe some of you have really reached a definitive um turning point in your lives to where nothing is ever going to be the same because you understand how to create your reality now the chariot and so you're moving forward or at least you understand it on a, a much deeper scale. Um, you understand it much more now than you ever have before, which is giving you. Uh, it, it spirit just said birthright. I mean, you're you're re you basically. If you're not in this energy now, like if you're not solid and set in this energy now, this is where you're moving towards most likely. But this is reclaiming your birthright. Spirit just said birthright. This is who we are to begin with. It's who, we's, it's who we have always been. But because we've been under the thumb of the, the manipulative beings that have helped us shape the matrix in the way, well, not helped us, it, it influenced us. There we go influence us into the the, the, the the matrix that we know now, the the life that as we know it currently, as it currently stands. Oh shit, I lost where I was going with that. But basically we're coming out of that now and we're claiming your power back and this is taking our power back and this is why I, I mentioned for some of you this has been, you've been working on your sovereignty. This is proof right here, the chariot. For some of you, this really is proof. That you've been that you're you you've claimed your sovereignty and now you're moving forward in your own direction the way you want to 
And that is fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna start now with the Four of Wands and the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands being in reverse. Just a little bit of clarification, please, Spirit. Excellent. No fucks given. Okay, so far we have the Eight of Wands here. There's something that did turn over, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna seek that out for a second. But first and foremost, the Eight of Wands is fast and swift movement. It's very similar to the energy of the chariot that was just underneath the deck. Fucking right, guys. Ten of Pentacles. Um, underneath the deck, you have oof, the Ten of Swords. Wow. Ten of Swords. Okay, but that really feels good. And then you have the Knight of Cups. That Knight of Cups keeps coming out, you guys. It just keeps coming out. But you see, this is the Heart Chakra Awakening. Look, between the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, you've got ten ten here. Seven of Wands, sure. But you've got a ten ten here. This is ultimate completion. And what this is saying between the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, this is that you've been through the ringer for the longest time. I mean, Ten of Pentacles represents time, is like the time card in the, in, in the deck, okay, in the tarot. The, t the Ten of Pentacles talks about um, investment over the long, over a long period of time, over the long haul, um, uh, age, you know, from, from child to adolescent, to teen, to young adult, to adult, to elder, well, however you want to, um, phrase it, word it, whatever. Okay. And the Ten of Swords is like a really rough, hard, arduous situation. Now this is also completion. And this Seven of Wands that's here that was underneath the Ten of Swords, it's so perfect because you've learned how to place the boundaries. It's the Seven of Wands energy here. Let me do it this way. It's the Seven of Wands energy here that is allowing you, it's like your springboard. It's like your launching pad. It's the boundaries that are keeping you or allowing you to really move forward. The Eight of Wands here is like a, the energy of the chariot in the sense that it's swiftly moving. Okay. All right. I mean, the, the hanged man underneath the seven of wands also. Yeah, I didn't think how I didn't couldn't see how that fits in, but it does fit in because I'm not reading reversals unless they come flying out this way. So what I'm seeing here with the, with the hanged man, which was underneath the seven of wands is, you know, coming out of some sort of stuck, stagnant energy and moving forward. And what I was also seeing in this knight of swords here with um, not being aggressive, but being willing to defend yourself should you need to in form of communication with the Eight of Wands here, okay? Eight of Wands talks about swift movement, yes. It also talks about communication. Now, there could be some sort of communication, some sort of defending of boundaries in a in quick way, email, text message, social media. But that would just be the reinforcing of boundaries for some of you. I don't know, some of you might get some sort of con uh, 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 message, some sort of contact communication from somebody, potentially your twin flame. I was feeling, I was seeing that. I don't know for who. Please take this as it resonates. Potentially, you could be someone from the past, an ex maybe, or just someone that wants to talk to you you know, wants to kick it with you, but you're not all that. I mean, you could be receptive to it. Your heart is open, but with this Knight of Cups here, but the Knight of Cups is talking to your heart being open, but you being ready to defend yourself. <laughs> if, something, if something doesn't resonate with you, if something doesn't vibe well with you, your heart being open in this way is going to allow you, well, well also with this self-love that you've been working on cultivating with this Ace of Cups here, um, it's going to 
influence you to defend yourself, stand up for yourself, keep those energies that don't resonate with you at bay. Okay, now this Knight of Cups, I do want to talk about this just briefly. The Knight of Cups is this cosmic heart awakening. We've been coming, we've been in this for a while. This this card just keeps coming out. This is the cosmic heart awakening. Um, which it's interesting because Aluna Ash, I don't know if you guys watch her, but she she sees the Knight of Cups as a selfish character. And I am seeing a little bit of that energy right now because um, in the form of, again, if something doesn't resonate with you, you're not, you're not fucking with it. So selfishness in the terms of self-preservation is what I'm seeing here, okay? <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So. Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords. Let's see what we've got for that. Please, Spirit, just a bit of confirmation. Oh, clarification. Okay. The Knight of Wands, lots of knights. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. So underneath the deck, you have the High Priestess. Secrecy. Intuition. Um... That's very interesting because we also have the Seven of Swords that came out here, but it's, it came out in reverse. Secrets are being revealed here. Okay, so you're not necessarily in a offensive mode. You're much more in a defensive mode. Um, you, might, you might be feeling a little bit restless. This is a weird combination, but I don't see you being pulled in two different directions the Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands. The Four of Swords is a restful energy. The Knight of Wands is very, very active. But what I see here is like, with this energy, you are biding your time a little bit. Um, you are gathering your reserves before, before you set off on your path, before you, you know, ride off into the sunset, whatever. Okay, you are learning a good deal. Seven of Swords in reverse. High Priestess, there are things that are being revealed to you right now. Um, you might be getting a lot, a lot, a lot of downloads right now. So you might be just trying to rest. I'm definitely getting a spiritual warrior energy from this, uh, from this Knight of Wands, a light worker energy from this Knight of Wands right now, okay? Many of you are stepping into your light worker ability light worker power spiritual warrior status excuse me that's great though it's really really great okay we're going to move to the Animal Spirit Guides, and then I'm going to close the reading with the Lightworker Oracle. So let's see. There's a lot of moving energy here, okay, it, between the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. The chariot was underneath the deck. You have the eight of wands here. There is a lot of swift movement. Okay. And a lot of that movement has to do with just the raising, the, the, the yeah, the, the raising of your vibration. Acclimating to higher states of consciousness, higher states of awareness. Settling in with this four of wands energy. So as a result, you might be dealing with a lot of ascension symptoms, like I am. <laughs> All right, one more shuffle here. And let's see what we've got for the weekend. For the weekend, February 15th to the 17th, the golden egg. Aw, mouse, hyena. Okay. 
excuse me, guys. Please excuse all the sniffling. Okay, so the golden egg came out first, but I'm gonna save that for last. I'm gonna start with mouse. I'm gonna go to hyena, and then we're gonna do golden egg. Mouse, detail-oriented, small-minded, nitpicky, nervous. The mouse has an innate desire to tend to the details. It often spends its day fixing, preparing, organizing, and scrutinizing. Unfortunately, a mouse personality doesn't notice when they've gone too far. Soon they begin to have a limited and fearful vision of life and try to control every detail. This can be quite painful. I'm sorry, this can be a quite painful experience for both the mouse and those around them. When mouse energy is at play, step back for a moment. It may be time to find a more purposeful project to delve into, one that's worthy of your exacting eye. Exacting eye. That's, that makes a lot of sense because a lot of us are very much in a place, a situation, or an energy of it being in between worlds, in between realities, one foot in the past, one foot in the future, that kind of energy. But with the High Priestess bringing you downloads, the Seven of Swords in reverse, um, things being revealed, this Ace of Swords energy, you're definitely in a position, especially with the Ace of Cups, you're definitely in a position to find a new direction to go in, okay? That's beautiful. Okay, moving forward, we have Hyena. Hyena, humor, wit, sarcasm. The hyena personality is a jokester and crowd pleaser, but below the surface there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are you using jokes to handle old resentments in relationships or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? Finally, we have Golden Egg. Here we go. Golden Egg, message at the center of the heart, the unstruck sound. Within the Golden Egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Find a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga nidra or meditation. If you do not yet have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, Ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart, staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises deep from, from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long, long time. Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. Mm. The golden egg and the fourth chakra. The subtle essence of the golden egg is nestled deep within the heart center at the fourth chakra. This chakra, called Anahata, is the home of the self or soul. By bringing the mind into this center, we discover a portal into the most intimate and luminous space. It is said our inner guide sits there in deep meditation, waiting for us. Anahata translates as the unstruck sound. The heart chakra, y'all. I mean, it's that heart chakra awakening. The cosmic heart. Good Lord. Okay. So now we're going to close out the reading with a message from the Lightworker Oracle. OK. 
Okay, here we go. Ooh, there it is. Card number 12, <laughs> Eternal Now. Hmm. Okay. Card number 12, Eternal Now. Within you is great strength and courage. However, just because you can manage to keep going when you are drained or stressed, it doesn't mean you have to do so. You are encouraged by your higher guidance to request assistance in letting go of tension within your mind and body. You will gain every thought, I'm sorry, you will gain energy through this release and perhaps even see things in a new and more optimistic light. Shifting into a more present, relaxed, and enjoyable state of being will help you overcome the past and successfully create your future. Yeah, so, in essence, meditation, yeah? Dear one, have your thoughts become trapped in the pain of the past? Have they been drifting towards possible futures? If too much of your energy is pulled away from the present moment, you diminish the power you have to create what your heart desires. Creation doesn't happen in the past or in the future. It happens in the here and now by the choices you make in each moment. Even now, in reading this message, you are choosing to be present, to bring your energy, or at least, I'm sorry, even now in hearing this message, you are choosing to be present, to bring your energy into the eternal now, stimulating the law of attraction into action. As you relax in this moment, trusting that the past is over and the future shall be truly wonderful, you can more easily energize your dreams, visions, and heartfelt desires. The universe believes that you are deser deserving of a spiritual gift. To accept the gift in whatever form it takes, you will need to be present, to have enough stillness of mind to recognize it. You'll need to have enough inner peace to accept it, to take it inside where it can nourish, inspire, and heal you. The form of this gift will be perfect for you, and the way that it comes shall be perfect too. It is being orchestrated by divine timing now. It will assist you to take the next step on your soul journey successfully. Well, that's quite beautiful, and I think I want to leave it right there. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Happy Saturday. I will see you tomorrow for our Twin Flame Weekly Check-In. And yeah, if you would like a personal reading with me, go ahead and just shoot me an email and we will get set up. Yes. Have a great weekend, everyone. Take care. Mwah! Bye.